I'm going to demonstrate locating the proper anatomy for the proximal humerus insertion on our Robbie Shank. Robbie's standing with her arm normally the way she would if she was walking. It, with this human humerus, you can see that it normally would lie kind of at this angle if you line up the proximal humerus to her arm also. When you take her arm and you put it in the position that's ideal for insertion, what that does is rotate the humerus medially and it protects the sulcus, which we want to avoid. If you look at her from the side, you can see that that humerus lies anterior to the midline of her arm. And coming back this way, if you take your thumb and you come up the humerus, take my thumb and come up the humerus on the per, I can seed it a little bit in the cervical neck, which is what I would be doing here. To locate the point at which you're going to put the needle in, you come up to the most prominent aspect of the proximal humerus, or Robbie, the most prominent aspect of the proximal humerus. And if you're having trouble feeling that, if you rotate your finger around a little bit, it helps you find where that most prominent aspect is. Once we locate our insertion point, we want to take an insertion angle of about 90 degrees to the skin. At this point, it would go in at about that angle. What if you do lift the arm? As the arm comes up, the easy I.O. impinges on the acromion and pops right out. Yeah, Lance, it's going to be another five thing, okay? okay. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Okay. It's going to be like a four. So you ready? One, two, three, four. Ready? Ready? Ready. One, two, three, four. Yeah. About three. Yeah, it's about a count of four. Ready? One, two, oh. three, four. There's our site, and so the target is right above it. Here we go. One, two, three, and we're in. And it's going to be again a kind of coming about four, so ready? One, two, three, four. We've got a count of four, ready? One, two, three. Just took three. I'm ready. Okay, we're going to go right in here. And here we go. One, two, three.